Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some incredible challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up are Joseph and Gareth from Peterborough. Then Harris and Govin from Middlesex. And Nadja and Kelsey, also from Middlesex. And finally, Sasha from Twickenham and Asal from London. We've met the best friends, but what makes them tick? I'm Gareth. I'm Jo. Gareth loves Japanese. I teach myself. Ego ga wakadimasu ka, which means I speak English. He's, he's quite good at Japanese, actually. I do loads of sailing all the time. I do it every week, and I do windsurfing as well every other week. It's really good fun, actually. You can go really, really fast. I'll be happy as long as we get to the final. Yeah, we want to get to the final. That's the most important thing for us. It'd be quite fun if we got gunged as well. Yeah, gunging would be fun. I hope our clothes just don't go soggy. We're, we're doing the best because we know. Gareth! And we're the best because we know we are. Yep. Hi, my name's Bowman. Hi, my name's Harris. We do all sorts of fun things like tennis, dodgeball, uh, football, go to on cinemas, with, go on our bikes. We always do something together. And we're both 12 years old. Yeah. And we just like spending lots of time with each other. Really we're really proud to be here. We've been on pass enough. Yeah, and like on national on TV. Like on national television. And we've got good tactics to work together as a team and we can be really strong. Yeah! This is Nadja. Like, she's really good. <laughs> okay. And this is Kelsey. She's really funny and just like really kind. We even have like her secret code. It's called back slang. Wibbagi, Abagar, Gubgo, Wibbagin, Tibagu, Wibbagin, Abagam, Wibbagi, Wibbagal, Tribagai, Abagar, Bubgess. And that basically means we're going to want to win and we're going to try our best. I like talking to crazy people, so I think we're bestest buddies because of that. Kelsey's crazy. <laughs> Hey, my name's Sasha and I'm 12 years old. And I'm Sal, and I'm 12 years old as well. In our spare time, we like to have sleepovers. And go, like, shopping and meet up with friends and go and, to the park and stuff. And do, like, sporty activities such as... Rounders. Cricket. Like, <laughs> netball. And contact rugby. And Sal has, like, some bad habits. She always, like, talks at the wrong time and, like, can butt in. <laughs> and Sasha's bad habit is bicycle nails. We've, like... No, um, Sasha, do you remember last see, week I went see, to Cambridge? See what Sorry. I mean, right? Sorry. She just, like, butt thin. <laughs> we are the best friends and we're here to win. <laughs> There's nothing better than seeing a group of best friends, but they better not get too comfortable together because all too soon they're going to be wrenched apart by the mixer. But more of that later. It's now time to put the best friends through their first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here in the Best Friend Challenge, not only will they gain a psychological advantage if they win, they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. If any of the best friends make it to the final, the hand of friendship could come in handy. Yeah. Who will win the hand of friendship? Let's find out as we play this. Tube Strike. Here, the best friends are in massive tubes and we'll be able to see just how well you work together as you've got to navigate across some bumpy terrain. They'll roll from one corner over to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team-coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor, can then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and burst the one and only red balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory plus the hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. They're off, and it's a collision course. Can anyone break free? Unlucky, the Purples, Nadja and Kelsey have missed their crucial first strike. Top left in Govan and Harris, the silver target is down. The field is clear, they're on a roll. Harris and Govan, well done. Let's take a look at your clear run in the replay. Look at them go, there was no one else close, not a soul in sight. Right, Harrison, go then, join me out here. What a massive rumble in the middle there. 
What were your tactics? Just we'll go, go for it, it. Yeah. all everyone out the way. Don't think anything else, just go for it and then do it. Because you had a real clear run at it, but more importantly, you've won this. Now, this is a hand of friendship. Now, if, and it is a big if, you make it to the final, this could be the difference between winning and losing. Are you going to get that far? Yes. yes. Why? Because you've got to have the confidence and we the skill. Confidence and skill to work as a team. It's a good combination. Well, whether Govin or Harris make it to the final remains to be seen, as this is a show with a difference, because very soon the best friends will be playing against each other. But the rules of keep your enemies close are simple. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, even if a best friend is eliminated, your other best friend has to keep on winning and winning and winning in order to get to the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work pretty closely with some enemies. You're clever enough, you get the gist. Let's mix it up. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Sasha and Gareth. Next up is Joseph and Govin. And Harris and Kelsey. And that leaves Nadja and Asal. The mixer has been cranked and some frenemy pairings have been created. So let's see what's going on here. So, Sasha and Gareth. Now, if Sasha could have a superpower, it would be invisibility. Sneak care. Whereas Gareth would be the ability to speak all languages. That is one superpower you can get, Gareth, if you put your head down and study. Then we've got Joseph and Govin. Now, Joseph, he likes a bit of rock and roll, like ACDC, Nickelback, who can resist? Lead singer Chad Kroger's hair. And Govin's music taste, well, it couldn't be more different. He likes a bit of R&B and rap. So maybe their uh, opposing music taste could be opposing game-playing tastes. Kelsey and Harris. Now, Kelsey, her best sport is football, whereas Harris's best sport is dodgeball. But has he got the ability to dodge an elimination? Finally, we've got Nadja and Asal. If Nadja could be a celebrity for a day, she would be Barack Obama. She want to meet important people and help change the world. That is noble. Whereas Asal, Lady Gaga. Yeah, not as noble. And look, she's getting the eyes there. A leader versus a pop star. How they work together, I don't know. And remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Rip off. Here, the frenemies will have to get to this outfit as quickly as possible. Once they're here, they'll then have to squeeze their heads through these two holes here. And look, they're going to have to keep their enemies very, very close. Once they're in, only then can they start to rip off. Now, some of these triangles are in quite hard to reach places. So they're going to have to use a power of agility plus a bit of strength. They're not easy to rip off. Remember, keep your enemies close. Fast and furious start. Remember, you're both going to be in the suit before you can start ripping. There are two different approaches. Rip off one side at a time or attack a side a piece. Different frenemy heights are making it tricky. Rip off! Rip off! They're all turning into contortionists. It's really difficult to see over their shoulders. Not complete. This is so confusing. Not complete. Not complete. Everyone's shouting rip off. Rip off. Yeah. Not complete. Complete. Which means, yeah, give me a quick twirl. Harris and Kelsey and Nadra and Asal still have triangles left. 
OK, rip off, which means that Nadja and Asal, it was so close. Let's have a look at the replay. If only Nadja and Asal hadn't spent time shouting rip off with two triangles left, they could have done it. It was so close. Right, successful frenemies, if you'd like to waddle off to the mixer, but for Nadja and Asal, let me just take this off here. Let's take this off. Now, it's the blame game. Was anyone at fault here? Yeah. <coughs> Who's at fault? Has, she has shorter arms than me. No, that is, that is, that is a problem, yeah. having shorter arms. <laughs> what do you want to say back to that? Oh, yeah, well, that's how it goes. Unfortunately, you are eliminated for the moment. You're going to have to rely on your best friends to win you back. Can they do it? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because they're the best. Because they're the best? Sasha's the best at everything. You can't get better than Sasha. She's unique. For the moment, you're headed to lockdown. <laughs> it's lights out for Nadja and Asal. So, only six players remain. I think it's time to crank it up once more. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Harris and Garrett. And next up is Sasha and Govind. And that can only leave Joseph and Kelsey. Right, for Asal and Nadja, it is lockdown. They'll be relying on their best friends to win them back in the final. Let's see what the mixer has created in the land of frenemies. Right, we'll start with Gareth and Harris. Now, if Harris could describe himself as one animal, it would be an eagle, because they are fast. Whereas Gareth thinks he's like a koi carp, because they're agile and cool. This could be a good frenemy relationship. Now, we'll move on to Sasha and Govind. Sasha thinks boys are disorganised. Harsh. Whereas Govin thinks girls have annoying voices. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Friction time. And then we've got Joseph and Kelsey. Now, Joseph really dislikes art at school. However, Kelsey's super creative and thinks art is her favourite subject. Will these guys perfect the art of victory, though? All will be revealed. Remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. YouCube. This is a YouCube. Here is half a cube. And over here are three massive pieces that will complete the cube. You have to work together and share the workload, as these big pieces are ungainly and they're difficult to slot in. You're going to have to use the power of puzzle solving here. And remember, the last pair of frenemies to complete this will be eliminated. Keep your enemies close. To each other, frenemies really help each other. Sure. Harris and Gareth on the left are going at breakneck speed. That second piece slots in nicely. Yes, that yellow piece does go on top. Harris and Gareth look close. Keep, no, keep thinking, get guys. Get Harris and Gareth can take it easy. The others are in a right old muddle. Now, one of the cubes is finished. Will the teams That's use the, the finished cube as a reference point? Go on, Joe! Sneaky on, but Gordon. clever. Come on, Gordon. Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe. Come on, Joseph and Kelsey, does that look like a cube? Methinks not. None of Joe and Kelsey's pieces are fitting into a cube shape yet. Joseph and Kelsey are going for modern art. <laughs> okay, now how are we going to get that one in? Push it together. Sasha and Gobin aren't faring any better. It's all to play for, but two cubes are still in bits. They're nearly there. They just have to get the green piece the right way up. Get in. Just push it! No, not like that! <laughs> Sasha and Govan are finally motoring and they're about to push their final piece into place! It's not it properly! You've done it by the skin of your teeth! You've made it! 
Guys, you were so close. It took ages. Let's see where it all went wrong. Uh, everything went pear-shaped when it was meant to go cube-shaped. OK, successful Fredemies. If you'd like to go back to the mixer, but Joseph and Kelsey, come and join me here. Come on, it is the blame game. Now, whose fault was it? Kind of shared, I think. We were just yeah. we couldn't get it the right way around. It was so hard. What went wrong? Because it, I mean, it, at one point I thought you had it, and suddenly it, you went back to square one. What because happened? Because we took the yellow one off the top. We thought yeah. that taking the yellow one off would like help get the green one yeah, in, but it didn't. It, didn't. it just slowed us down. At the end, it didn't even come down to puzzle making. It came down to brute force. You were all trying to <laughs> kick it in, but you did so well. But unfortunately, for you, it's back to the mixer, relying on your best friend to win you back. But Kelsey did so well, but you and your best friend had been eliminated. Kelsey, it was literally a case of confusion in the end there. You did really well, you were really unlucky, but Kelsey and Najar, it is elimination. <laughs> Joseph, at the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. Only four players remain. It's time to crank it up. First pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Harris and Sasha. And they'll be facing Gareth and Govin. So for Nadja and Kelsey is permanent lockdown and Asal and Joseph will be relying on their best friends to win them back in the final. Now, Govan and Harris are guaranteed a place in the final. So Sasha and Gareth are going to have to work extra hard. But what is going on there, frenemies? Let's have a look here. Now, we've got Harris and Sasha. Harris is scared of narrow spaces, doesn't like to be confined. But Sasha is scared of the huge ocean. They couldn't be any different. And then we've got Gareth and Govan. If Gareth could be a celebrity for a day, he would be a famous manga artist. Whereas Govin, well, he'd be JK Rowling because she's really, really rich. Well, they both want to be creative, but can they create the right result? As we play this. In the pipeline. Here, the frenemies will have to get a ball bearing like this one from the start all the way through these pipelines to the finish over here using only one magnet. But it's tricky, you see, because in the middle is a barrier. And here the frenemies will have to share the magnet while still trying to keep the ball bearing on the track. Now, for you, Gareth, and for you, Sasha, your best friends in lockdown are relying on you. But for Govind and Harris, you're already in the final. Does that mean that you two are going to have to work extra hard to get to the final? This is where a steady hand counts. Will your frenemy relationship attract the right results, or will it be a case of two negatives when it matters the most. I bid you good luck. Remember, keep your enemies close. Come on, Gareth. Oh, Sasha! 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 Bits slowly, are the slowly. hardest. Govin's like a pro. Come on, Sasha. You're really good. Come on, Sasha. 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 Come on,
I hope you won't get that high. Gareth and Govin are on the glory ride. It's now just a case of putting it through. Yes! Which means commiserations for you guys. Let's just have a look at the replay. It was that uphill struggle early on that scuppered them. But Sasha, for you, unfortunately, it is elimination. You did so well to get this far. How do you feel? Um, I'm a bit gutted because like, it would have been good to have like the girls in the final. But no, we did. We tried our best, and we can't really do any more than that. You did really well. Congratulations! But for you guys, the final beckons. The best friends have been reunited. Now, Joseph and Gareth, what's it like to be back together? Brilliant. Yeah. Much better to be back together working as a team. Do you think you can take home the glory? I think Definitely, so, yeah. yeah. I think we probably can do it, yeah. Govin and Harris, earlier on, you won this, the hand of friendship. Let's remind ourselves of your glorious winning moment. Why have it's you been gonna... so successful? What is it about you two that makes you so it's good? cooperation, teamwork. Yeah, listen to each other, don't shout or anything like that. Well, the hand of friendship could be the difference between winning and losing as we play this. The final. It is the final and it is tense in here. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You then have to give me two correct answers starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was P and the category was countries, your answer could be Pakistan or Peru. There's loads of answers that you could come up with. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers. This is the sound you'll hear when time's up. <coughs> two correct answers will send your enemies along this track all the way to those chutes there. And those chutes are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind that clag. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track, and your aim is to get your enemy to that clag barrier there, where the losers will be bathing in clag, but the winners will be bathing in glory. Govind and Harris, you won the hand of friendship. This is as good as a correct answer, but you have to say the words hand of friendship within the five seconds. Now, Gareth and Joseph, you're going first. Let battle commence. Your letter is... R. Category, type of sport. Time starts now. Rugby. And racing. That is two correct answers, which means Harris and Govin, you're moving along that track. OK. Govin and Harris, you ready for your letter? Here we go. Your letter is... N. Category. British football team. Time starts now. Time's up. You could have used the hand of friendship. You decided against it. You could have had Norwich City, Nottingham Forest, Notts County, Newcastle United. There were loads. Unlucky. But for you, Gareth and Joseph, it's a good start. Are you ready for your next letter? Here we go. Your letter is K. Category, band or pop star. Time starts now. Kaiser Chiefs. Keen. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even use two seconds there, which means Govind and Harris move further along the track. OK, you really need to get a right answer here now, guys. Your letter is... C. Category. Animal or bird. Time starts now. Cat. Cat. You gave me cat. You again decided against the hand of friendship. I needed a second one. You could have given me cockroach or chipmunk, coyote. Unlucky, which means you're moving closer to the clag. It's a really good start for you, Gareth and Joseph. Can you continue in the same vein that you've started? Are you ready? Your letter is... Y. Category. British town or city. Time starts now. York. Yaxley. 
York and Yaxley's two more correct answers. It's a storming start, which means Govind and Harris, you're edging ever closer to that flag barrier. You really need a correct answer now. Otherwise, the blue team have earned the right to send you in. Here we go. Are you ready? Your letter is... S. Category. Type of sport. Time starts now. Hand of friendship. You've used a hand of friendship. No messing about there. That's as good as the correct answer. You could have had skiing, swimming, soccer or skateboarding. You chose a hand of friendship, which means you live to fight another day. But if Gareth and Joseph get this right, then you're heading into the clag. Right, you ready, Blues? Here we go. Your letter is... A. Category. Animal or bird. Time starts now. Anteater. Um, anaconda. Two good <laughs> answers, which means you've sent Harris and Govin smashing through the clag barrier and you've earned the right to send them in. Harris, Govin, how do you feel at this point? Really rubbish. Uh, have we made it this far, though? And you've done very well. Gareth and Joseph, even without the hand of friendship, you've got a clean sweep and you've earned the right to send Govin and Harris through the clag. Is there anything you want to say to your enemies? Well done, you're really good opponents. And, ju and just enjoy the ride. You've done really good yourself, yeah. Thanks. Oh, this is making me cry, but send him in! You said they were good opponents. How do you feel now? I hate them. <laughs> you don't really hate them. You love them. Well, you guys can uh, enjoy the disgusting... I'm getting out of it. It's horrible. <laughs> well, Gareth and Joseph, you really have proven that you are the best of friends. Was there ever any doubt that you were going to win this thing? Yeah. We were was worried when I got eliminated. We thought it might be the end, but we managed to bring it back. And you're well deserving of this. Our solid silver keep your enemies close medallion. There you go. Congratulations. Give me some skin of celebration. Bang, bang, bang. So remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends closer. <laughs> when the pressure's on, and the clock is ticking, you know you're in the zone. <laughs> CBBC's number one game shows are in the game show zone. Weekdays at 5 plus 4, CBBC on BBC One. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> Travel from...